Hey everybody, good afternoon. It's Chef Marlene. You're welcome to Chef Marlene's Kitchen. Hello, hello, hello. I am in the kitchen today and it is lunchtime once again, once again. For those that you those of you that joined me last week, thank you so very much. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I just want to put this um, out here on YouTube. There are some videos on YouTube that are not on live. Hey Patty, what's up? Wave to Patty. Um, so I want you to go on Chef Marlene Coles on YouTube. Share, like, um, give me your comments, what you think, what you don't like. Um, so that's that. And also on Facebook Live, share this. I hope you like it. So today, lunchtime, I felt like a Philly cheesesteak. I'm a Philly girl, West Philly, West Philadelphia, born and raised, you know, all that time, all that stuff. What we're making today is Philadelphia cheesesteak. So, what we're going to do, we're not using cheesesteak as the meat, but we're using something that is the phenomenon now. Everybody's using jackfruit, and since we're trying to eat healthier, at least I am, I'm going to be doing a lot of things that are out of the box. You know, I like to eat out of the box, so here we go. We have our nice stick pan. Let's see here. I know I said I wasn't going to do this, but here we go. Patty, can you see me? Say hey. All right. We have jackfruit. This is jackfruit. You get this from your Asian stores, um, international markets. This is jackfruit. It comes in a can and also it comes frozen. I prefer the can. And what it looks like, it looks, um, it is a fruit. Believe it or not, it's a fruit. And you can, um, when you get it, there are seeds on the inside of it. I started chopping mine up because I didn't want to bore you with that. So there are seeds in it. I need you to take those out. And in this can, we have jackfruit. So what we're going to do is just shred this up into our pan. We're going to add a few other seasonings to our um, pan and we're going to make a chicken cheese steak. We have not only that we have a nice bowl we have some tamari or you can use soy sauce or you can use liquid aminos if you're allergic to soy we have liquid smoke we have our constant companions onion powder garlic powder and we have steak seasoning and did I forget anything else ah smoked paprika we're going to add some spinach some red peppers and I already seared off some mushrooms all right so we're going to put that in there with our peppers and onions so to our hot pan we're going to start breaking up our jackfruit in our pan. Let's see. There we go. Hey Faith, how are you? Welcome to Chef Mars Kitchen. What's up, Zenzi? Hey girl, you looking good. You looking good. I want you to know that you looking good. We're doing uh, cheese steaks today and we're making it out of jackfruit. Yvonne, hello. Welcome to the room. Welcome to Chef Marlene's Kitchen. We're going to make some cheese steaks. All right. So, um, follow along with us. And to go with that, I'm making some sweet potato fries. I don't know how they're going to turn out, but anyway. So here we go. Let's get these out here. To our pan, we're going to add our jackfruit. I just have the one can because I think this is enough for me and my husband. And as you can see, it almost look, it looks like chicken. Can you see it? Let me know if you can see it. Hey, not face. Happy birthday, big bro. And as I told you last week, I have asbestos hands, so please don't do what I'm doing to our hot pan. Okay? To that, because we want, you can season your jackfruit before, but because we want our seasonings to bloom, and what that means is to be more fragrant and release the oils, we're going to add our garlic powder as much as you like. Last week I said I'm a dump cook. I nothing ain't changed. Ain't ain't changed from week to week. Okay. 
And to this pan, we have a little oil. And we're going to add some steak seasoning to that as well. Oh, and I forgot. We have cheese. It's not a cheesesteak without cheese. And I'm using chow. It's a vegan cheese. Um, if you want to make this um, non-vegan, you can. But today we're just doing um, a vegan cheesesteak. All right. So to that, I'm going to move my bread aside because we don't need that right now. Some peppers. We're going to chop up our peppers. Remember last week I said, do what to your fingers? Patty, tell them what you do with your fingers. You tuck. You tuck your fingers. My disclaimer, I'm not responsible for lost digits, cut off digits. Don't get in the prayer line asking me to pray for you. No, tuck the fingers. All right, tuck the fingers. All right, so we're going to add this to our bowl. We already have some in there. We're going to just stir this up in the pan. Add a little oil, a little more oil to it, not much. Get this going in our pan. And we want to get this, um, and, the, and I wanted to tell you too, when you get your jackfruit out of the can, you want to rinse it very good in cold water. You want to take out that hard um, seed that's in the middle, and you want to actually put it in a tea towel and squeeze the water out of it because we don't want a mushy cheesesteak. Anybody got time for that? All right, so... We're going to stir this around really good. We're going to turn up our heat a little bit more. And as I told you last week, brown is flavor. Brown is flavor. Hey, Kevin, what's up? I see you and the wifey doing the traveling thing. I like that. I like that. So in our pan, we have our jackfruit. Looks just like chicken, doesn't it? Chicken cheesesteak, but we're going to make this a little different. All right, to that, we're going to add a little smoke liquid. You only want to use a little bit of this, just a little, okay? Just a little, not a lot, because it's very strong. A few dashes, that's all you need. We're going to add a little tamari or liquid aminos. Maybe about a teaspoon to that. And you might not need a lot of salt. I'm not going to add any salt right now, but I am going to add some black pepper to it. We're going to throw in our Mushroom, uh, excuse me, our onions, peppers, the fritos in there. Throw our mushrooms in as well. And what I did with my mushrooms. I, um, I seared them in a pan, in a hot skillet, and I pressed the water out of them with another pan on top. A lot of people say, well, I don't like mushrooms, I don't like the texture, but if you sear them really, really nice, it gives it a nice, meaty taste, all right? So, that, as I said, on well, last week, we worked clean. I can't stand a nasty cook. And if you can see this, this looks absolutely fabulous. And the thing I like about cooking um, vegan or vegetarian, a lot of things you can taste. If this was meat it wasn't, um, and it wasn't all the way done, you can't taste it until it gets done. So you really don't know what seasoning you need. So I can taste this. Can you see? Let me know if you can see. Hey, Patty. All right, now please inbox me your number. 
And this, believe it or not, this was just one can. Now you can add two, but because I have onions and mushrooms and um, peppers in this, I mean, who would want this for lunch or dinner? And even if you didn't want to do the bread, you can just eat this just like this. So, and as you see, we didn't add a lot of oil. So we just want to let that cook like that. I do have some spinach here. I might add it to it. Bump up the veggies. Get a bit of everything that we don't need. So we added to this our um, tamari, or you can add soy sauce, or you can also add liquid aminos. I'm going to add a little more steak sauce to it, um, steak seasoning. And please, I know as a culture, growing up, we cooked our vegetables to death. You know, you could have sang a hymn, did a eulogy, and everything over them vegetables. Please don't do that, because all your nutrients, you lose it all. So we don't want to cook this to death. So let's see what we got here. Let's taste it. Let me find a... Where Myrtle? Come here, Myrtle. She Myrtle. Everybody, anybody know me, know my mom, Myrtle. All right, let's taste, let's taste, let's taste, let's taste. Good. My God, that's good. All right, I'm going to throw my spinach in here. I know you said that's a lot of stuff going on. Guess what? It's mine. When you make yours, do yours, okay? I'm about the veggie life. And for those that are joining today, I not only, um, not only do vegan and vegetarian, because that's what I've been eating a lot of plant-based lately, but um, all of my videos, all of my meals go to YouTube channel, Chef Marlene Coles. All of my meals are not vegetarian and not vegan. You know, you got to have multiple streams of income, so I'm trying to hit all bases. All right? So, that's good. That's good. Look at this. Look at it. Look, 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 look. Smell it. Sight. You can't smell it. Sorry. Make your own. All right. To this, we're going to move this over to the side. Close the meal. Clean as you go. Clean as you go. Don't need that anymore. Don't need this anymore. Oh, I didn't add my smoked paprika. Yes. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. This time to eat, y'all. Watch this. Watch this. I got a roll. And... I'm going to stick this right here real quick. Ten seconds. I'm going to take my cheese and put it directly on here. Like so. Like so. Let's do this. Like so. Like so. Hey, Jay. Jay is over in the UK. Now, what I'm going to do, because I want this to melt, I'm going to add just a tad of water to steam it so that the cheese will melt. Hold on one second. Let's find something to cover it with. Put another pot over it, put another pan over it. I ain't feel like going looking for the lid, it's in here. All right, so let's clean up. Let's clean up, clean up, clean up. I feel like the kids, everybody clean up. So how is everybody? Hey, Tanya, how are you? I did a video last week. I'm trying to upload it to YouTube. 
I'm not all that techie savvy, so hopefully you'll be not be on there. But if you didn't get everything, just make sure. Um, I think I'm gonna add another piece of cheese. Just make sure you watch the rewind, rewind it, and watch it. Gonna let that melt. Get all the goodness. Get our roll. Uh, get our plate. Clean up over here. Clean up out too. Let's see. Oh yes, yes, yes. Can you see it? Look at it. Look, 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 look. Yes. Yes. Now, on my cheesesteak, I like a little mayo, a little ketchup, a little sriracha. You can put on there what you want to put on. I made mayonnaise last week out of aquafaba. Go and watch the video from last week. I'll tell you how to do that. Let's get some ketchup. This is wonderful. Look. Philly cheesesteak. Jamila, what's up? Gail, what's up? All right. Thank you for joining Marlene's Kitchen. Today we made jackfruit cheesesteak. Look at the pan. Look, 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 look. All right. Off. Let's put this over here. Let's put a little ketchup. This is um, no high fructose. Fructose, not fructose. My husband says fructose. I'm like, please no. What's up, Marsha Blackwell? Shake up your ketchup. Put a little ketchup on here. A little sriracha. Open it up. Clean off the plate. I can't stand a nasty plate. I need people to stop plating up their food on Facebook looking all nasty. So here it is. Look. And our jackfruit cheesesteak is falling out. We have jackfruit. We have um, spinach. We have mushrooms. We have peppers. We have Everything that you would need on your steak. So, here we go. Bon appetit. Here we go. Taste it. Patty, yours done. Mine is. Here we go. Woo! Mmm. Mmm. Come one, come all. I'm sorry. I ain't lying, y'all. Look. And look, it looks amazing, doesn't it, Tanya? I, I'm, I'm telling you. Bye. My mother taught me not to talk with food in my mouth, y'all. But I'm sorry. It's so good. 
You won't miss the stake. I promise you. You won't. I will not steer you wrong. At least this week. I'm trying not to. Not today. Not today. Not today. But this stake right here. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Goodness. I know you want some. Take a bite. Take a bite. <laughs> I know. This is kind of saying was to make you swing your feet at your mama's table. All right. So from my kitchen to yours, join me hopefully every Wednesday for a new video. It might be lunch. It might be dinner. It might be Brenner. Brenner is my word. It's breakfast and dinner put together because food is food. Don't matter when you eat it. So eat healthy, live healthy. And every week I want to give you a tip. So the tip for this week is use what you got until you get what you need. That's from Bishop Edward Long. So even if you don't have some of these ingredients, use what you have. You can substitute. You can take out. You might say, oh, I don't like mushrooms. Then just do the onions and peppers. It's all right. It's really all right. So until we meet again, everybody raise your right hand and say, may, don't say may the Lord watch because that's me. No, mm -mm. Not that one, because that means, re, re, do your research on that one and find out what that really means, because I need people to stop dismissing like that. That means like, okay, I don't want to see you no more. But anyway, until we come in the room again, enjoy, I'm going to enjoy this, because this is my lunch. It is one o'clock. I'm going to enjoy this. Make this, I promise you. And tag me, comment, tell me how you like it. Don't forget to share, post, like, go to YouTube channel, Chef Marlene Coles, and I'll see you soon. All right, I'm going to enjoy this. Bye. Oh, wait. Check out this. Get you some hemp water. I promise you, it's the best thing. You don't like to drink water. It doesn't have a lot of sugar, has no calories. You know, we're trying to be healthy. All right, love you. Peace. Bye. I'm out.